Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another all new unboxing. That's right, your boy is back. May have seen my NECA blind bag um, package opening uh, previously, uh, and this is just one more thing on the pile of things your boy's gotta get caught up on. Uh, so today I'm gonna be unboxing and re um, reviewing this um, WWE uh, Mattel Elite Series 89. Sergeant Slaughter, um, not my ideal version of Sergeant Slaughter, uh, but unfortunately I was scrambling to try to find a Sergeant Slaughter figure to get signed when he was at a local convention in my area recently and unfortunately um, He was a bit pricey for his autograph and I didn't really think it was necessarily worth what he was charging So I went ahead and passed on it, you know uh, That's something your P anybody who's a collector is more than willing to do. You don't have to pay the price um, but, you know, so I skipped on it, so I figured, why the hell not? If I'm not going to get this signed, I may as well rip it open and add it to the shelf. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, not my favorite, favorite version of Slaughter, obviously. Uh, I'm more partial to the, you know, camo pants, tank top, hat, the whole nine. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was kind of scrambling just to find a Sergeant Slaughter figure, so I went for this one. And just ended up not needing it, so I'm going to go ahead and rip it open on the channel today. And we're going to review it, see if it's worth a crap. And, um, yeah. Hopefully it's not god awful, otherwise uh, it may end up on the cutting room floor, if you know what I mean. And may, who knows, may just become something I use for customization or something like that. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Like, I'm just going to destroy this package because I just, I just don't care, to be honest with you. Like, this is not something I need sealed. I don't need a mint on card, no nothing. It's been literally sitting on a shelf waiting for me to free it from its plastic prison ever since that fateful day when I decided we don't need that signature that bad. However, I did some stuff signed by Jake the Snake while I was at it, so the trip was not a total bust. It was actually a lot of fun. Also met Thunder Rosa. Really, really nice trip. Let's go ahead and get all the accessories out. A little, uh, little cropper, what, I mean, yeah, I guess a little flogger kind of thing. You know, I guess, uh, slaughters into some weird, uh, stuff. If you know, you know. Uh, got extra hands here. We've got the pointer finger. Uh, and then we've also got the open grip hand. So there we go. Gonna put those over here. And I'm trying to see if he's got any, yeah, he's got some plastic restraints around his knees. So let's go ahead and pop those off. to come off real easy but I believe those are the only ones let's go ahead and get slaughter out of here again like I said not my ideal version of slaughter but I'll find some way to salvage it I mean really you take the jacket off and it's almost the version of slaughter I like who knows maybe I can customize it and I can pop off the legs and um, I can do something else with it instead but all in all still not terrible um, but as it is the glasses come off looks like they're being held on right now uh, by like a little rubber strap Go ahead and take the little beret off. Glasses right off. There's the uh, little rubber band ski holding them on. And then there's Slaughter. Look at that mug. That is a face only a mother could love. Holy shit. Face for forever. He's, he's got the uh, voice for radio and a face for it too. I'm kidding. He doesn't even have a, vo a voice for radio to be honest with you. Um, the soft goods jacket is actually very nice. It's, you know, it looks good. I love the little uh, extra rope attachment here. Like, it is, like, actually separate from the material. It's not just kind of molded on there. Um, obviously, you got the Velcro strap here in the front. Let's go ahead and get the jacket off. And we're going to see what it looks like totally jacketless. Like I said, I, th I think I might be able to salvage this just by taking the damn jacket off of it and keeping them like this. Uh, he might actually look pretty okay in the display. Like, with this thing on it, it's just not my cup of tea and I don't really have um, you know any fanfare of this version of slaughter to be honest either so no loyalty in the slightest in fact let's go ahead and hmm let's go ahead and swap out let's give them double pointer fingers why the hell not hand off double pointer fingers there we go and we can just make them look like he's trying to say that he's like the smartest man alive or something. Did you check out my autograph rates, brother? You maggot. Oh, look at that. There we go. So, you know, 
is what it is. I don't know. This arm seems to be um, wanting. To, this this arm seems to want to pose a little bit easier. Actually, it's not really bending at the joint very well. The top and the shoulder, it's very tight. Yikes! Almost afraid it's gonna bust off here. Have that Matt Cardona Super Seven problem. Um, oh, you can even see some like some paint that's kind of flaking off right there inside that joint. Yikes! Um, so yeah, got your uh, clear armpits there. That's Cool. Uh, let's see if he's got the uh, and no balls. That's good. No balls. Uh, all the uh, color there is match. Uh, let's check his legs. See how the flexibility is in the joints. Okay, the joints are very smooth. Like they're tight, but it's almost. It feels almost like clay, if that makes sense. Like it's stiff, but it's very movable. So I like that. That actually feels really nice. Um, Top of the thigh moves pretty smoothly as well. Uh, do your little uh, split action. Yeah, all the leg joints are actually very nice. Um, the arm, like I said, uh, a little questionable on this shoulder joint here. This one's not so bad. This one actually flexes and moves pretty well. So uh, this side's okay. Um, this one, not so much. Torso, nice torso flex there. Like I said, I mean, you know, I actually do like the face scan on this. I think it looks good. I mean, you I mean look at that. I mean, that's a solid slaughter scan. You know, his little I don't know what the hell. It looks like um oh goodness. The the baby from Roger Rabbit, his little tuft of hair right there in the front. Uh kind of looks like that. So uh yeah. That's still looks weird. So I don't know, maybe put the beret on it anyways. Why the hell not? But I don't know, even then it just doesn't look right. So may just go ahead and just keep him like this. Uh, find some belt to kind of throw around his waist. See if I have an old wing needle laying around somewhere. Uh, you've also got your elbow pads. Let's go ahead and slip those on. There we go. Let's slide on pretty easy. And you know, honestly, I don't think that looks too bad like that with the elbow pads on. That actually seems to be a pretty decent looking figure. Not even mad at it. And I mean, this thing... I mean, I guess you can have it on him. I just, I don't know. Maybe just put it on around his wrist or something. Yeah. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and put the open grip hand on him. And we'll see how it holds that little crop to see um, if it's at least worth maybe using. So I got there around the knuckles. Yeah, I mean, elbow pad slipping off pretty easy. That's one thing I will say. The elbow pads go on easy, but they're also sliding off real easy as well. But yeah, you sit there and just put the open hand out, act like he's slapping it like he's about to, uh, you know, he's about to go to the Daddy Dom Club or something. But uh, <laughs> Daddy Dom Slaughter about to party. Uh, but yeah, you know, honestly, it's not bad. Let's check out the ankle articulation. Yeah, as with most Mattel elites, it's overly tight like I mean you, I can't even get it to budge and it feels like it's just gonna snap so I'm not gonna push the point too hard um, I expected that that's pretty common with uh, the elites anymore but yeah the elbow pad accessories are nice I just wish they're a little tighter um, in fact I think I might actually maybe have them on wrong possibly I think I might have them on, on wrong so that's on me uh, but elbow pads, like I said, they go on easy, but they don't stay up very well. Yeah, like even then, it's just they're very loose. So I, that's a bit questionable. Uh, like, I mean, just even if you bend the arm, just that's about the only way they're going to stay on is having the arms bent. Uh, overall, not bad. This figure's decent. It's nice. It's not my version of Slaughter that I grew up and, you know, remember and have uh, fond memories of. But uh, I think it's a serviceable one, to be fair. Um, Especially because, you know, unless you're going to try to chase down that Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition, uh, this is probably really the next best, best option at this point is this one right here. So, uh, not terrible. Still has the shades on him. There we go. Now he just looks like Daredevil. Just, you know, put a little cane down and he could just tip-tap around a whole bunch. Like, da, da, da. I don't know where I'm going. And he falls off a cliff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's all right. Throw the beret. Even with the glasses and the beret it just i don't know man like i just something about it doesn't seem right to me like that maybe if it was an actual like uh, military helmet accessory i think i could probably get on board with that 
all in all, not a terrible figure. I'd probably put this in at around a seven. Um, I'm definitely not going to put this on him in the display. I just think it, I don't know. I think it sucks. Uh, I, don't know, cause I don't, I don't like that solid brown deco from top to bottom. It just makes it look too damn plain Jane. At least like this, there is some color variation. Gives it a little character. Um, it makes it a little more um, livable. So yeah, uh, like I said, not terrible. I'd give this one probably mm, six and a half out of ten. Like I said, not 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 incredible, but not terrible either. Decent figure. If you need a slaughter, it's definitely doable. Uh, you may need to make some tweaks to it in terms of how you have them displayed, but you know it's serviceable. I, I won't complain uh, too much. Besides, I'm the one who bought it. Nobody to blame but myself. You know how it goes. Uh, but guys, I think it's going to wrap it up for this Sergeant Slaughter Elite uh, 89 review. Thank you for checking out the video. Again, I do apologize about the drought of content that has not been on for a while. Uh, I've kind of made some uh, adjustments to my work schedule as well as some adjustments to my life schedule, uh, which has kind of ne uh, necessitated some changes with my recording schedule. And I've also been a lot more involved with Whatnot lady, uh, lately, which has been giving me a lot of really nice one-on-one -on -one time talking with a lot of you guys uh, through that medium uh, directly, rather than having to just wait on comments and replying to them, so on and so forth. So if anything, make sure you can catch me on Whatnot. Just follow me over there on uh, at Whatnot at Collecting Raj. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, also at Collecting Raj while you're at it. But guys, thank you for checking out the video. Thanks to this, um, you know, mid-seven rating uh, Sergeant Slaughter. And as always, have yourselves an awesome day.